Hello, Junior Lyric. This is week two uh, Lyric class. We're going to do a few things today. So just, um, again, like we've probably been saying in every video, make sure you have enough space um, to be dancing so you're not kicking siblings, parents, pets, or furniture. Um, and make sure that you can just kind of um, have that space so you can kind of move around a little bit, okay? So we're gonna work on some warming up and we're gonna do some stretching and then we're going to do um, some learn uh, across the floor type things. Um, and then we are going to um, work on your dance, okay? Um, we're doing pretty good on this dance, so we're gonna work through some of that. We're gonna use this uh, day two class, uh, week two class, just to be a, kind of a review. Um, and then we'll probably add on to your dance the next class. Okay, um, and I'm gonna grab Maya when it's time to do the review because I'm sure there's some things that I don't remember that she's going to, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna go to the center of the floor and we're gonna start with a warm up. okay? All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna start in the middle of your floor and we're just gonna start and just do, um, we're gonna roll our head just to kind of start warming things up, okay? So roll your heads. And the other way. Nice and slow. Other way. Okay, now reach, we're gonna put our arms way out to the side, stretch them way out, reach over this way, just a light stretch, you should feel it on the side. Stretch, 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 the other side. Reach, 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 and hold, 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 hold. And back the other way. other way. Just try to stretch a little bit. Just a tad here. Now come this way. Try to stretch a little bit further. And the other way. Stretch a little bit further. Stretch this way again and roll all the way down. Bend those knees and stretch those legs. Bend and straighten and bend and roll up. Nice, now stretch this way and around and bend and stretch those legs and bend and stretch, bend and roll up. Should feel every piece of your spine rolling there, okay? Roll to the side one more time, stretch to the side one more time, around and other side. Around and to the side, come up. Okay, nice job, how'd you do? Okay, all right, so we're gonna move on, okay? Stay in the center of the floor. We're just going to plie in second and just kind of stretch here, yeah? Plie in second, hold. And again, and down and hold and up. Okay, we are going to do some plies and tendus to warm up. So I'm just gonna grab a chair to hold on to. Hang on one second. Okay, it's easier to have a chair so that way I don't have to use the wall. It's stuck on my 
purple dot. Okay. So I'm just going to use a chair to hold on to. If you don't have a chair, that's fine. The back of the couch works. If you're in your bedroom and you have a headboard or a, or a footboard on your bed and it's high enough for you, that works. A wall works. I'm just using the chair so I can switch my feet and not have to turn around with my back to you, okay? So we're gonna do um, some plies, okay? We're gonna do, I believe we have done this in class before. We're going to do um, demi plies in first and in second, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna do demi plies in first and second and then um, we will uh, do them one more time. I'll switch the chair, we'll do them one more time. And then we're gonna move into our tendus, okay? So we're gonna do four, and you know what? Let's do first, second, and fourth position, yeah? So let's do first, second, and fourth position. Okay, demi plie, so we're gonna do first, second, and fourth position, okay? Um, let's do a, uh, let's do also, let's do a grand plie on the second round. So the first round we're going to do four demi plies, four demi plies in second, four demi plies in first, and then we're going to go back to first position and we're going to do two demi plies, and then we're going to do one grand plie, yes here, and then we're going to uh, open our port de bras and releve hold, okay? We're just trying to warm up our feet and legs right now. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do four, so four demi plies. I'm gonna to open to second position and four demi plies. One, keep going. and open to second. And open to four. Now we're going to do the second round where we're gonna add the grand plie and the releve. Okay, here we go. First position, we're gonna open two demi plies, one and then two. And then we're gonna do our grand plie. and hold releve, let go, hold, 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 and don't wobble like I did, come down, and second position, demi plie, and two, and grand plie in second, and up, and releve, and down, and feet in fourth, demi plie. And grand plie. And releve hold. And down. Okay, how'd you do? We're gonna try the other side. Okay, so I've got my chair on the other side now. We're gonna do four plies in first, four plies in second, four plies in fourth, and then we're going to do um, the second round. 
of the combo, two demi plies, one grand plie, and then one hold and releve. Yeah? Here we go. and fourth position. Okay, and back to first position. And we're gonna, like I said, do two demi plies, a grand plie, and then hold, relevant hold. Yeah, here we go. Demi plie. Demi plie. Your grand plie. And hold relevé. Let go. Hold, hold, hold. Second position, demi plie. Grand plie. And relevé. Hold, hold, hold. Nice, fourth position. Great job. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna do some tendus to stretch our feet out. We're gonna go from, let's go from first, uh, from fifth position actually. So right foot in front, left hand on your chair, wall, whatever you need to do there. So we're gonna go to high fifth here and we're just gonna um, tendu, we're gonna flex, we're gonna point, and we're gonna close. Okay, we're gonna do two to the front, two to the side, two to the back, two to the side, okay? Here we go. The key is for this exercise is we wanna go super, super slow, okay? So you maybe wanna have either your half soles on or your um, jazz shoes so you can make sure that you're sliding your feet on the floor um, and not it's not getting stuck, okay? My laminate floor is super um, slippery, so it's kind of easy for me to slide. And I've been doing this a lot longer than you guys. Okay, so we're here. We're gonna open our quarter bra up to high fifth, and we're gonna time due to the front. Flex, point, close, and time due to the front. Flex. Point, close. Now, the key, and we talk about this all the time. When I tendu, I want to see, I want to try, I want to be seeing the inside of your leg. I don't want to see the outside of your leg, right? I want to be seeing the, uh, try to be seeing the inside of your leg. I don't want you to be on the ball of your feet. I want you to be nice and pulled, nice and pulled up, your neck nice and long, yeah? Okay, to the side. To the side, flex, roll every part of your foot, point and close, tendu to the side, flex, point and close, tendu to the back, flex, point and close, tendu to the back, flex, Point and close, 
do to the side. Flex, point, and close. So I'm do to the side. Flex, point, and close. Okay, let's switch the chair around. Or your, if you're on the wall, you can turn around. Yeah? Okay, so right, uh, left foot now. Yeah, so open your quarter bra and go to high fifth. Time, uh, we're supposed to be in fifth position, sorry. Time do. Flex, point, and close. Time do. Flex, point, and close, and open side. Flex, point, and close, open, flex, point, and close to the back. Flex, point, and close, tondu, flex. Point and close, side, flex, point and close, side, flex, point and close. Okay, great job. Let me get rid of my chair here. And I am going to be on the floor, me on the floor here, I'll be stretching my butterfly position. I'm gonna use my elbows to push my knees down here and I'm going to try to just lay over as much as I can. Nice, now extend your legs, straddle much as you can, feet pointed, legs straight. Remember, I don't wanna see those kneecaps like this. I want you to try to hide those. You need to, have, you need to feel your quad muscles squeezing. That way I know my leg is completely straight, yeah? Over to the side. Over this way, reach, reach, reach. Over to the side. And up, over to the side. Reach, 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 over to the side, and up, reach forward, reach, 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 okay. Ooh, my knee had to rest. Okay, so we are going to do our um, lunges, yeah, so we'll do those, and then we're going to go over do one thing and then we're gonna get get to going over your dance okay I'm gonna grab my edge just so we know we remember it okay so hand palm lunge palms down on the floor if you can hopefully hopefully you can and lunge back leg straight front leg bent slide into your split. That is a knee burner for Miss Heather, so I'm just going to get my yoga mat. And I'm going to, hopefully you're still hold, hold, holding. Okay, relax. We're gonna try the other side now. The hair is going up. Okay. So your left side. Reach, reach, reach. Punch. down and back. And forward. 
definitely feel that in my hips. And slide into your right side split. Hold, hold, hold. Hold that right side split. 30 more seconds. quickly stretch your backs out do your mermaid um, pose lay on your belly push up do your flower do your back bend if you're so inclined okay I'm watching go do that stretch that back out on our pirouettes yeah so we need to remember for our pirouettes um, and I'm actually gonna go this way so you can kind of see um, that I'm gonna do I'm going to do uh, actually, you know, what? I'll, I'll face you. So we're gonna start. We're gonna kind of do our right, our right leg, yeah. So our tandu <coughs> with our <coughs> excuse me, tandu with our arm in second, fourth position plie. Your right arm comes to the front. Your left arm comes to the side here, and then you're gonna go up right to passe, yeah. Make sure you're pulling that passe up with you so you feel like the hook is kind of lifting your head, right? Okay. Tandu. Preparation. Uh, I just want you for now to do tandu prep hold, yeah? If you want to get your chair back or, or your wall, that's a great idea. You can kind of, uh, now, I don't want you to use the chair of the wall to lean on. I just want you to simply put your, maybe your fingertips here, just for this round here. So tendu, preparation, passe, right? Now, hold your passe. Now hopefully you can let go of your apparatus, we'll call it, your apparatus, either your chair, or your wall. It's getting a little warm in my house. Okay, so hopefully you can hold your chair and then let it go to keep your balance. Now, to keep my balance when I'm doing a passe, I'm looking, I'm picking a spot and really focusing on it, okay? That's how I'm trying to keep my balance. So if I'm here, all right, tendu, fourth position preparation. My heels are all pressed into the floor. I'm getting ready. I'm, my weight, my weight is completely centered. I'm not leaning forward. I'm not leaning backwards. I'm in right in the middle, and up to passe, and hold and releve. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. The more you do that, the easier your pirouettes are gonna get, okay? So now let's try the other side, okay? Tendu, preparation, fourth position, passe. Whoa, that is not what I meant to do. Okay, here, and let go. Feel all five toes, yeah? Right in the middle. Do not, 
um, rolls on your ankle, yeah? Okay. Try that again. Time to fourth position prep. Prepare. Good. Passe. I leaned. Nice job. Okay, how'd you do? I want you to do that one more time or two more times on both sides. Okay? Two more times on both sides on your own, on your own pace, at your own pace, okay? Two more times at your own pace here. Now, I'm going to try that one more time, and I'm going to do it without my chair. So it should be fairly simple for me, right? Okay. Great job. Okay. Hopefully, you can have a little bit of space to do two or three shenay turns, okay? We're gonna do shenay turns. So I'm gonna start over here up in my corner and I'm gonna kind of go this way, um, kind of on an angle because that's, that's where I have the most room. So I'm gonna start way up here. Let me back up a little bit. I've got my table of fun here, which is my notes on everything. Another iPad charging, okay. So I'm gonna start up here in the corner and I'm going to tondu my right, le right foot, uh, right leg. So we just did tondus in our warm up, correct? So that will hopefully mean that when I come here and I'm in first position and I'm ready and I'm gonna do a tondu for my preparation for my shenay turn, that my tondu is going to be correct because hopefully we're taking what we're learning in our warm-up with our plies with our tondus all of that kind of stuff and we're applying it when we actually go to do something okay so we are going to go in first position we're going to tondu with our right foot to the front our right arm comes to first position our left arm comes to second position okay we all know how to do a shenay turn, okay? But what I want you to focus on at home, because we are not in the studio where we have all the space in the world to practice our jumps and practice our leaps, and you might have that space at home somewhere. I don't know, maybe you do. I do not have the, the space for that in my living room, okay? So what I wanna work on right now while we're at home in our living rooms, or at home in our bedrooms, or in our parents' bedrooms, or in our kitchens, wherever we have the space, is I wanna work on the basic things that I'm always correcting you guys on, the little tiniest things, okay? If we have, we come back and we have nice shenay turns, it will be easier to do everything else. We, when we do maybe our shenay jetés, or um, anything else, right? Our PK turns, all of that, all, all of those things kind of build off one another, right? We have nice technique in our shenay turns. If our spot is good, that helps our pirouettes. Lots of, lots of things here, right? So we want to go in first position, tondu right, right arm in first, left arm in second. I am going to just do two shenay turns 
This way, chenet, chenet. Okay, did you catch that? Okay, now, did you spot? Did you pick a spot on your wall and did you spot? Because that's important, right? I picked, I have a picture of mine and a picture of Mackenzie. I picked the one of Mackenzie because it's a little bit lower, a little bit more my height. Make sure what you're spotting is your height so you're not looking up in the air like this, okay? Second, secondly, second, did you tond you to the front and could, if I was in your living room, would I be able to see your quad muscles engaged? Would I be able to see this? My quad muscles are engaged right now, are yours? Or yours? Hopefully you can say yes to that question. Okay, hopefully your answer is yes. Now, your shenning turn. Did your foot stay pointed when you went up into the shenning, up into uh, releve here? Did your foot stay pointed? Did this foot stay pointed when you came around? And did your foot come back pointed when you hit the front to start your second shenning turn? Did all of those things happen? Did you have a nice high releve to where your quad muscles are engaged? Did you have that? If you said yes to all of those questions, I'm sure you had a great Chennai turn, okay? But all of those components make that great, right? Okay, I want you to try that. Try practice, practicing those Chennai turns for one more minute. Pretend I'm here watching you. Hear my voice in your head, point your feet, straighten your legs. We wanna make sure our legs are straight. In order to make sure our legs are straight, we have to engage our quad muscles. If we don't have our quad muscles engaged here, there's a possibility, like if I'm relaxed, if I relax my quad muscles, there's a possibility my legs are bent, right? If I engage my quad muscles and I'm in a high enough releve, I should be, my legs should be super straight. You should be able to tell, right? Okay, one more minute, practice those on your own. Pretend I'm here watching you. Point your feet, straighten your legs. Make sure you spot. Don't whip your arms. Make sure they open to second and close to first. They never go behind you. Yeah, they should only go right, slightly, 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 slightly. I can see them out of my corner of my eye. Okay, how'd you do? Good. Okay, we are going to practice your dance now. Okay, we're gonna do it without the music, we're gonna break it down, and then we're gonna move on to jazz. Okay, ladies, so we're gonna go over your dance. Now, I know that um, there's a, a, lot of, a lot of parts in this where I know that you're doing different things. So we may have to, um, at some point, hop on like a Zoom, because I know you guys have been using that, and we might have to just talk this through a little bit. Um, so we can talk about that, but I've, I've um, gotten Maya to help me uh, know at least what her and Riley do, and then I had Maya ask Miss Emma Lahane what kind of um, the rest of you, I know the rest of you do something a little bit different in the beginning, and then I know that there's some parts even after that that kind of like you're doing kind of different things. So we'll talk about that, that's okay. I'm sure you guys know what you're doing. I'm sure you do, um, so I'm not too worried. So. We're just gonna quickly go, like, you know, quick and dirty go over this, okay? So, this is an InSync song. We know how much I love InSync. Um, this is an InSync song. Uh, it's called Are You Gonna Be There? It's definitely on Apple Music. I don't know if it's on, um, I don't know if it's on YouTube, I haven't tried that, but it's definitely on Apple Music. I've looked, Maya's shaking her head saying it is on YouTube, so you can probably find it there. Um, it's on there, uh, it, it was, quick backstory, it was on a McDonald's CD that was once released that I have, but it, 
was re-released when they did their greatest hits album. Okay, so that's kind of where you can find it when you go to Apple Music. I think it's on their greatest hits album. But I digress. That's what the song is. So you can put that on and play it again. I'm gonna find you a way to get you all the cut music. Um, I'm just working on that. I'm hoping to work on that over the weekend. Um, so right now we are gonna start. So I know we all start. We kind of start with our heads down. The music starts right away. So I'm just I'm gonna do my my and Riley's part because I kind of know that because I just had her here to go over it with me. So bear with me. So this is. If I was down, okay, would your arms lift me up to higher ground? Yes, uh, they do a pirouette. Well, coupe turn. Um, sorry, coupe turn. Actually, I'm going the wrong way. I need to be going this way. Double coupe turn. Draw your arms lift me up to higher ground. This is with just the strength, double coupe, chene, of your love. This is when they smile at their partners. This is Ari and Caden or whatever. If I was lost, so this is love. This is if I was lost. Now this is when we run around our partners so I think that Emma and Lucy kind of run around Hope, because um, Hope is in the center back here. So I think Emma and Lucy run around Hope. Ari runs around Maya over here. And then Kaden, I think Kaden runs around Riley over here. So um, strength of your love, if I was lost, yeah, now here, would I find some Thing in your eyes to lead me home, okay? Oh, Maya's telling me I'm wrong. So we're here. Rewind, go back. So lost, yeah? I'm gonna do it on this side because it's a little easier for me. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm Caden Riley. Here we go. Strength of your love. So are, are our arms here when we walk backwards? They're here. Yeah. Okay. So here, if I was lost, would I find one, two, three, push down. We do a push here. Step, step. Uh, step, saute. So here, step, saute. Here. And this is on home. You love my singing, correct? I know you do. So we're here. Home. Now, there is a drum beat here. Listen for it. On one, here, we do a triplet. 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 And then we go into our uh, kind of hold, uh, hold and catch and release pose, right? So we're here. And then we're, whatever we do here, right? We're just releasing. Then I know this part is where we kind of do something on our own. Yeah? We all have something that we do here. I know Ari and Hope kind of come this way and they have a little um, uh, uh, soda shot, little uh, sh uh, soda shot here, shot say said soda shot. Uh, Riley kind of comes this way and does something here. Maya rolls on the floor here. Um, okay, Emma and Kaden do a lift. That's where you do your little lift, right? Okay, so we all do something different there. Once we're done, this is where we all run together to our circle. We run here. We run, we just grab hands. We don't go up. Remember we talked about that. We just grab hands now. We go sway, sway, three, four. Oh, it's only two sways, Maya's telling me. One, two, sha, se, and now is where we run out. So we're here. One, two, sha, se, walk, two, walks. Okay? Now, we walk two walks and then we prepare for our chene turn. 
So we're here, one, two, and we walk to prepare for your chenet turn. Okay, so this is two chenets, and this is done in your circle, remember, this is done in your circle. So we're here, we're doing two chenet turns, and then we do two triplets, okay? Two chenets, one, two, we do triplet, triplet. Now, this is where we reach out of our circle, right? So we reach out of our circle, reach out, down, up to passe. And that's a parallel passe, yeah? So we're outside of our circle. We're, and remember, this is, this is really like there's, there's some accents in the music here. We really want to listen to that music there because this is, are you going to be there, right? So what I want you to think of is I really want you to be reaching, are you going to be there, yeah? Practice that one more time on your own. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna go over this one more time. One more time, I'm gonna go over this one more time. And then you're gonna be all set. All right, so we're in our starting positions. You know where you are. We have uh, run, run, run. If I was down, all the way down, yeah? Would your arms lift? me up to higher ground. This is a turn or this is a hold with just the strength of your love. If I was lost, would I find something in your arms to keep me home? Boom, triple X. And if it all ends up, would you be there to hold? Boom. It's easy to be there through the good times. Keep going. Yep. And when the times get hard, would you stay or walk away? Prep. Chene. Chene. Triple at. Triple at. And are you gonna be there? Arms up all the way, sorry, I was falling. So here, are you gonna be there? I think that last class we were talking about where we were gonna go from here. Um, I don't know if we really finished the thought, okay? So let's um, use that for now. And let's go over that, let's even go over that one more time, because I just want to make sure that we absolutely have it. Um, so that way, in class three, we can add on a little bit, okay? And it's going to be, it's going to be, it's definitely going to be a challenge, right? I'm, ch I'm going to challenge you, because, you know, you have to learn, we're going to have to learn um, a group dance apart. You know, this isn't a solo, so it's a group dance. It's going to be a challenge, okay? So when we add on in class three, the good news about this dance is we're about a little over halfway done. So that's good news. So we don't have too much left to do. And then obviously I'll give you the um, choreography. And then when we get back in the studio, we can work on the staging of it, right? We can, there's going to be questions on directions and which way we're going and who's doing what. Right? There's going to be those questions and that's okay. All right? So let's go over this one more time. Again, we're starting over here. Our heads are down. The music starts right away. Right, right away. Okay? And we're here. If I was down, would your arms lift me up to higher ground? And actually lift me up to higher ground ground with just the coupe turn strength of your love if i was lost would i find something in 
your heart to lead me home and one. Would you be there to hold? This is that part, whatever you do here. Ah, uh, and then you do things all yourself. We have Hope and Ari going this way with a little leap. We have Emma and Caden lifting here. We have Lucy doing something forward. We have Riley going this way. We have Maya going this way, doing their own thing. Now, here we go in your circle. Would you stay or walk away? Prepare. Two Shanae turns. Shanae, Shanae. We worked on Shanae turns today in our in our class, right? Two triple X. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're reaching. This is in releve, okay? Realize that. Reach. Ah. Uh, don't fall like I just did. And then releve. Yeah? So that's ah, ah, ah. Okay? It should look. Reach. Down. Lift. Yes? How did we do? I know it's it's been a while. It's been about three weeks since we've done that dance. Okay? Luckily, between Maya and Emma and myself, we were able to figure it out. You know how Miss Heather's memory is. It's not great. That's because it's your job to remember your dances, right? Okay, so we are all done with our lyrical class today. Okay, so pr go practice. That's important. Um, and make sure that you watch this again and again if you need to for a refresher. And then I know we have some scheduled time um, if there's any, it's like a question and answer Zoom coming up. So if you have questions, you can always ask during that, okay? All right, happy Easter, okay? Happy Easter, I hope you have a great Easter, okay? And I will see you in class three. Have a great week, bye.